Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing with you my entire luxury handbag collection. I have quite a few bags to get through today and this was a requested video from one of my subscribers. Thank you so much for asking for this. I did this back in 2021. I actually showed my entire handbag collection and I did my luxury and contemporary bags and this time I have more bags than I anticipated. So I am so excited to share this collection with you. This is going to be a long one so grab a snack, grab a drink and I so appreciate you being here. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Alyssa and I have a blog called The Gals Guide and I come on here and I review my luxury and contemporary handbags. So if you love handbags as much as I do, you should definitely consider subscribing down below. Hit that little red button. I would love to have you join this little community with me here. And to my current subscribers, thank you so much for being here. I am so grateful for you and I genuinely love chatting with you in the comments down below. That being said, let's get into the video. I'm gonna go in no particular order. I'm just gonna start kind of grabbing handbags. One of the first bags that I have here, this is an older bag that I've had in my collection. This is the Chloe Mini Day Bag and it is in their beautiful cognac color. What I love about this bag is it has the gold and silver hardware so it is mixed. It has this really great top handle and a really nice functional crossbody. It does have an adjustable crossbody strap and it is very spacious for a mini bag. It's definitely more of like a small size bag in my opinion. I wear this a lot in the fall. I think this color works really really well. It isn't one that I've grabbed for as much. I would say the functionality of it is a little bit difficult to use. You actually have to like pull this down to pop it open and up and then the interior has this really beautiful like orangey suede. This is definitely a bag that I love and I don't think that I could part with it because it is really functional and versatile and it really fits a lot. The next bag is my Alexander McQueen box bag. This is one of the most unique handbags in my collection and it is this really beautiful pebbled leather and then it does say Alexander McQueen up there in gold. It has this really great gold chain strap so you can wear it under the shoulder but you also get a guitar strap feature which I have inside the bag so it is thick and I just love the way that it opens. The top has this really great great gold twist so you twist it to close it and you twist it to open it so I just really love the way that this looks and I love that it has feet on the bottom it is super functional and I just absolutely love it I love the quality and I would definitely get this in another color next up is my very first Chanel bag so this is a small flat bag and it is the Rock and Moscow collection it is a patent leather with silver almost gunmetal hardware and and I love this bag. This was a gift. I will always keep this in my collection. And it has satin interior, which I really, really love. And I just think that this bag is so unique, but still classic at the same time. And you can wear it crossbody or on the shoulder. I really love the size of the small. It fits everything that I need. I do have a full review on this bag and probably all of the bags that I'm going to talk about today. I just absolutely love the patent leather. I love how squishy it is. I would genuinely want Want to get this in another color but they're so difficult to find. I have seen this in a navy and a black and I've seen them on the real real or fashion file. It's usually just called a flat bag in the size small. It also comes in larger sizes as well. Next up is my Dior lady bag in the size medium in the denim and it has silver hardware. I absolutely love this bag. I love how pretty it is. I love carrying it. It feels so luxurious and the charms do make noise but I actually don't mind it. I actually really like it and I do like this bag so much because it is one of the most classic bags that Princess Diana wore and I just think it has so much history behind it and I actually added a crossbody strap because I bought this pre-loved and it didn't come with the original strap. It is definitely a little bit difficult to get into I do have a full review on this where I do talk about that. I would never sell this bag. I just love the whole design of it so much that I would never sell it. I don't grab for it as much and I don't know if it's because it's denim or if it's just a little bit difficult to carry or if it's just that I don't need all of this bag for my everyday basis. It's definitely more of like a dressy bag in my opinion. I do love taking this out to dinner with me when I'm doing something that is kind of fancy and the denim actually really can work 
work to be taken out as like an elegant bag but it can also be worn casually it just depends how you carry it I would really like to get a guitar strap crossbody for this I think having a thicker crossbody strap would actually be a little bit more comfortable to wear it I like to have a crossbody strap so the one that I got is just from Amazon and it's very thin and like kind of cheap so I think if I got a thicker strap for this I would wear it more I also love that it has feet on the bottom especially because this is denim I do not want to get this ruined at all but I absolutely love this bag next up is my Celine belt bag this is in the size of micro and it is pretty big so this is definitely more of like a small medium bag to me I like to use this for work I absolutely love the color I love the leather on this bag it is so easy to carry and honestly it just matches everything it is so elegant and trendy and classic all at the same time I think that this is a mainstay in Celine's collection I think that this is such a classic bag to buy from them I really think it's gonna stand the test of time this one is also a little difficult to open you do have to pull and actually push up this one is easy to open than the Chloe bag that I mentioned but this has so much space like you can fit so much in here and I love carrying this bag I love that it has the option to be worn crossbody as well the crossbody strap is not adjustable so that is kind of a con for me which I think is kind of why I don't grab it as much because it lays a little bit low on me than I would prefer but I really love this this is one that I will never sell I absolutely love Celine and I could see myself buying more from them so the next bag is my Prada re-edition handbag and this has the silver little strap that comes with it and it also has the thick guitar crossbody strap. I love this bag. I don't wear it a ton and honestly because it's nylon I'm always worried about it getting crushed or ruined or stained or something like that but I think it's a really cute trendy bag. I don't know if it will stand the test of time long term but I really do like it. I do think it fits a lot and I do have a whole Prada collection video actually on my channel so I'm not going to talk too much about Prada there's a couple other brands that I do have a lot of videos on but I really like this bag because it's versatile I like that you can wear it as a shoulder bag or crossbody and it really fits a lot and packs a punch the next bag is one of my absolute favorites and it is my Chanel medium flat bag and this is from Karl Lagerfeld's collection I can't remember I believe it's like the twist lock I can't remember the exact name but I will leave that in in the description box and I absolutely love that because I think it's so unique I love the fact that it is mixed hardware so it's silver and gold and the chain is like silver to gold and then this front clasp is silver and gold I think that is so fun and I love that it's just unique and with this being the medium this actually fits just as much as the small flat bag that I told you maybe a little bit more I do have an insert in here because I was worried about the inside getting dirty on this one but I really love this bag this was one of the best purchases that I've ever made with all the price increases I almost wish that I would have found more bags sooner from Chanel because I just think that they are going to continue to increase in price and be really great value but sometimes it's not super practical and I think that Chanel is becoming way too overpriced in my opinion but I do love the quality of their bags honestly this one I just have a really beautiful memory tied to it as well and just the experience of getting it makes me love it even more next up I'm gonna put mulberry in the luxury category I find mulberry to be a luxury brand so this is my mulberry micro seaton bag and I absolutely love this this shape reminds me of the Hermes Kelly bag. I love the silver hardware on this baby blue color. This is mock crack and I just fell in love with it when I saw it. It doesn't have any feet, but this is really, really easy to keep clean. This is quite small, but it does fit a lot. This is definitely like a mini bag for sure. And I do have it in another size. So this is the small Seton bag. This is one of my favorite bags in my collection as well. This color is so versatile and functional and goes with just about anything and again I love this shape I love the gold hardware with this color I just think it's beautiful and on this one it's this gorgeous pebbled leather that I love and this size
size does have feet, which I think is great, especially on this kind of leather. I think that their bags are just so well made. This is one of my favorite bags ever. Like, I cannot believe that they got rid of this design from Mulberry. I really think that they should bring it back. I did find this one from Fashion File and this one I bought from Poshmark, and I will continue to look for them because I think they're one of the greatest bags ever. Next is one of my favorite Louis Vuitton handbags. This is the Neo Noé in the monogram and black leather. This is the original size. I know now that they have a BB size. I think that one is so cute. This one was primarily my work bag for a really long time. I still use it for work. I think it's a really great functional bag. I love that it's not just like a standard tote bag. It's more of that bucket style. And fun fact, this was actually created to carry champagne bottles. So I just feel like it's extra luxurious. And I just love carrying it. I feel like this matches everything you could possibly wear. I love the monogram mixed with the black. I think it's so beautiful together. This is a really great look in the fall and winter for me for sure. I love pulling out this bag in the fall. It's actually one of my favorite times of the year and this bag does not have feet on the bottom but the canvas really stays clean. I've had this for a couple years and I have used it so much. I will show you the inside. It is pretty spacious. I do have multiple inserts on each side and I have a couple of things still in there but the inserts really help me to just keep everything organized and not just kind of free falling in there. I don't how I don't love how stuff like falls underneath the crack of that inner zip pocket. So that's something to keep in mind. I would highly recommend inserts with this bag. Next bag is a very sentimental bag for me. This is my Gucci Soho Disco. This bag started my channel. Don't go looking for this video because it's awful, but this was the first video I ever recorded of myself and it got me through it and I found the courage to do this and I'm so grateful that I did. But this was one of the first bags I ever bought. This was the first bag that I ever bought from the actual fashion house. So I traveled to Seattle and I actually went into the Gucci store and I bought my very first Gucci bag and it was this. And it was such an amazing experience. The customer service was just outstanding and I really was glad that I got it. I believe there has been a price increase since I bought it like many years ago but it has still held up so well and this is primarily like my travel bag. I love taking this traveling with me and it has a really beautiful zipper. It's a very very smooth. I'm not crazy about the tassel. I'll be honest it's not like my favorite thing in the world but it works. The inside is very spacious. I do have it stuffed right now. I love this bag. I will continue to recommend this to people that are starting their collection. I think it is an amazing starter bag to any luxury collection and I think it's very versatile and it will definitely stand the time of time. Another bag from Gucci. This bag is one of your favorites. A lot of you have commented on this bag on my channel. This is the Gucci mini padlock bag and it is in the cream and orange leather with the original canvas. I think that this bag is just so cute. It is really mini but you can definitely fit a lot in here. I have quite a few videos of this on my channel so I won't go crazy about it but it's just super cute, super functional and it's actually very very durable. Like this cream color does not get any color transfer. It's very structured feeling and it does fit quite a bit for such a small bag. The only con that I would say that I have is I don't love that it doesn't stand up on its own. I do kind of wish that this had feet but overall I really recommend this bag. I think that this would also be a great starter bag to anyone's collection if you were looking for something like super mini but you could definitely tell was Gucci or designer because you have this really great monogrammed canvas. The next bag is my Bottega Veneta pouch bag. This is the only bag that I have from Bottega and it is in the Entrechato leather in this beautiful purple and there's not a lot to this bag. It's very basic, very simple, doesn't have a lot of branding. It's kind of if you know you know and I just love it. It's definitely mini, like you can't fit a ton in here and you kind of have to be strategic about how you're putting things in it, but I love it. What I love the most about it is the quality of the leather. You can tell that you've bought a luxury piece. You can definitely feel the quality of the Bottega leather and there's just something to be said about that kind of quality. I absolutely love carrying this bag, the whole experience of it. I did buy this pre-loved, most of my bags I bought pre-loved actually, and I just love it. It really has held up very well. The leather has actually not like ripped or anything. I was a little worried about 
getting the intrachato leather that it was going to pull on stuff and it really really doesn't I think that this leather looks so unique and I would recommend getting it in a statement color so it's not just like a basic nude however that's beautiful I just think that this is really more of a statement bag another small bag in my collection is this mini Versace Virtus bag and it is in their Morocco print and this is the first bag from Versace that I've ever gotten in this print and it is so fun to wear I love wearing this out to dinner I did get this for myself for Christmas this year and it was mega on sale around Christmas time they always do a sale Versace does I don't know why but it's like their end of year sale around the holidays but I really love this bag it's definitely mini like you cannot fit a ton in here but I just love the way that it looks I think that this print in this size looks really really cute you know and it's not too much to unpack another bag from Versace is actually one that I also got on sale I believe two Christmases ago I actually bought this on Christmas Eve and I bought this on their website this is the mini hobo bag and what I do love about this bag is a I love the pink Medusa head in the front I think it's so cute but B you can turn this into a crossbody bag there is an added piece of this strap that you can add on here and turn it into a crossbody I just have it packed inside the bag I do have a full review on this and how to attach it I have been wearing it as a little hobo lately but I really like it crossbody too it looks like more of a messenger style bag when you wear it crossbody I think that this pink is so perfect and so cute it's like the perfect baby pink next up is the first bag that I ever bought from Jacques Mousse and it is their Le Bambino long bag this is the shoulder bag version of the Bambino and I do have it in suede it is the orange color I love the branding of Jack Moose on the bottom corner the back has a little pocket that fits absolutely nothing in it so I never use it and I do wear this bag mostly in the summer I've just started wearing it because it is spring where I live and I've actually really liked it it does fit a lot but sometimes it's difficult to close so I don't love that like you have to have everything laying just right where it's not so high up so that this will close but I do really like it I think it's very cute very neutral again not a ton of branding on this which I really like and appreciate about Jack Moose and they are a little bit more of an affordable luxury brand so I do like that the one thing about the suede is it's definitely difficult to carry you don't want to take this out in the rain or the snow or anything like that so you definitely have to be mindful when buying one of their suede bags. The next bag is my Saint Laurent Sac de Jour in the size small. I bought this bag for work. I bought this from Fashion File and I love it. It has been so fun to carry. It's definitely like one of the biggest bags that I own in my collection. This is definitely a medium sized bag. It is not small at all. You can fit everything under the sun in this bag. Like there is so much room. I have tissue paper in here right now, but there is so many compartments, so much room. I do have a full video on this that I will link in the description box below because I also compare it to the baby which I'll show you shortly it does come with a crossbody strap the strap is not adjustable but this is a really great bag it's full leather definitely heavy it makes you feel like you're carrying a very luxurious bag and I do love that it has feet on the bottom the leather is so soft and smooth and just overall very beautiful and I just love carrying this the next bag is my Gucci Dionysus in the size small in this beautiful olive velvet and it has like a pinky nude gg engraved through it and then it also has like an olive green leather in here and i just love the gemstones i think those green gemstones there are so beautiful the bottom does not have any feet but it is raised at the bottom so you have a little bit of room to like lay it and it does stand up on its own and it really doesn't get dirty on the bottom this is a very smooth leather on the sides and underneath it's very very soft and can easily be scratched but the velvet holds up very very well I've had this for a few years now I bought this for myself for my birthday I think this is it's been four years since I got this for myself and I love it I don't wear it a ton because it is a little bit difficult for me to match stuff with it I would say the chain straps look intimidating but they're actually not as heavy as you would think also I have to show you one of the best parts of this bag so you open it from the side there's a little button there but the interior color is gorgeous it is this blue satin and I absolutely love it next up from Gucci is one of my newest bags in my collection it is the half moon mini bag in the beautiful beige and cream ophidia canvas 
I love this bag. I love the top handle feature. I love that it comes with this gorgeous gold crossbody strap. I have two videos on this. I will link those in the description box below. You can fit quite a bit in here and I love how versatile it is to wear. I love how much it matches with everything that I wear it with. This is becoming one of my favorite everyday bags. I've been wearing it for every occasion and I love that I can take it from day to night. It is absolutely stunning. The next bag that I have is my Saint Laurent Camera Lou bag and this is in the charcoal gray with the gold hardware and I love this colorway. This is one of the most neutral bags that I own. This is my everyday casual I'm going to the grocery store bag. I know it's not super casual but like it works with a pair of jeans and a t-shirt all day long and I do love that I can dress this up too. I love the crossbody strap. It is so comfortable to wear and it is adjustable and this bag fits so much and I do have a full video on this. I would love to get this in another color or another pattern or another material. Honestly, I just love it. I love it more than I thought I was going to love it. At first when I got this, I wasn't sure if I was over the moon about the quality, but I truly am. The quality of the leather is so durable. It's structured but still squishy at the same time, which I really like, and I love this colorway. This was one of the best colors I could have ever gotten because it honestly goes with so much of my wardrobe. The next bag is my Jacques Mousse Le Bambino bag, and this is the Le Grand Bambino, I should say. This is such an amazing size. Size. This is a crossbody bag and it has the little top handle. I love how comfortable the crossbody strap is. It does have a back pocket, which again, you literally can fit nothing in there, but it's totally fine. I don't need to use it. I mean, you could probably put a credit card in this one. This one you definitely can get into more than the shoulder bag that I showed you, but this crossbody strap is so comfortable to wear. This bag is very, very lightweight. It's almost like you're carrying nothing. I love how much it fits. I honestly, think this is becoming one of my favorite bags in my collection as well. This is one that I don't think I would ever sell. It is so sleek and clean and easy to grab and go. It is casual but can also be dressed up. If you take the crossbody strap and just wear it top handle, you've got an evening bag. So I really love this. I cannot say enough about it. I absolutely would recommend this to anyone starting their collection or a current collector. I think it is a great, great bag. The next bag is my Prada bucket bag. This again is in nylon and I do have a stain on it unfortunately but the bottom does not have feet and then the back is just plain. I do kind of have this stuff right now. It does have a crossbody strap that is adjustable. It is a little bit long on me and then I primarily carry this top handle. I actually really love carrying it that way. I think that this is a great casual everyday bag. Honestly when you're like going for a walk or something this is a great bag to grab with you. I do love it. I think it's very functional but again with the nylon I always get nervous. I do have it dirty a little bit right now so I love it but I don't know if I can honestly recommend some of the nylon bags to you because I just think that they're a little bit difficult with the wear and tear and so for that I don't think that they're going to stand the test of time but I do love this bag and I would never sell it. Another bucket bag that I have to show you is my Gucci Affidia mini bucket bag. This I got from the Real Real for a really great price and I love this bag because it's really versatile and easy to wear. The colorway matches everything, like even with this brown shirt I have on. I mean, obviously this matches, but like I've worn this with maroon, with pink, with black, and it really matches more than I anticipated that it was going to match. I thought that the red and green was going to bother me. It actually doesn't. I really love it. It does have a crossbody strap and that is adjustable. I have it tucked into the bag and it's like all tangled, but it is adjustable. I would honestly like a better way to store my bags that have a non-removable crossbody strap. Sometimes that can be difficult, but I do really like this. I love that it's adjustable. I would never wear it without the strap, so I don't necessarily need it to be removable, but I really think that this bag fits a lot. I would say it's not super secure, like it doesn't close 
as much as I think it should like you always will have this kind of gap at the top but I think that this is a really versatile bag and would work for someone that's looking for a casual everyday bag this is definitely a great option for you the next bag is my Dior mini Boston bag this is one of my favorite bags because it's just so unique and was so hard to find it was so hard to get my hands on I was looking for this exact colorway for such a long time I love that it comes with the lock and the gold hardware is just stunning it is like this really nice like swishy canvas material so you never have to worry about like weather I love the patent leather detail and the patent leather handles and this fits a ton for a mini bag I can get so much in here I always actually end up adding a black guitar strap for my Fendi baguette which I will show you to this bag and it looks so cute I love it with a thick crossbody strap as well or I just carry it handheld and it really really works I think that it is so cute and if you can get your hands on one of these you absolutely should the next bag is my newest Fendi baguette in my collection this is the mama size in the gray charcoal wool with black leather and silver hardware I've been wearing this bag a ton since I got it it fits really nicely under the shoulder the size is really proportionate I just did a whole video on all of my Fendi baguettes because I have three of them in my collection and it's one of my favorite bags ever I think that this is a bag that everyone should have I don't think it, it is ever going anywhere I think it is so popular for a reason because it just looks so great on the body it fits so much and it's just always gonna look trendy while still being classic I think that the wool is really pretty and soft and just a nice touch with like the FF embossing through it. The next bag is my Versace jeans couture bag. This is a newer bag in my collection but I really love this for when I'm just on the go and this one is nylon but I would say it's definitely a different material than the Prada nylon. This one feels a little bit tighter if that makes sense but again I am always nervous about it getting dirty. I do love the chain straps. I think that the silver chain that is actually removable is really nice because then you could just wear the black chain which is super cute and trendy as well um, but you could just wear the black chain this one is not removable this bag does fit a lot I would say because it was so affordable I think I got this for under $200 I do kind of not mind grabbing this one in nylon because I did spend less on it I guess it's kind of my justification but I do think that the chain straps are super cute and if you're looking for something that looks very designer but doesn't cost an arm and a leg I think that this is a really good option for you next bag I'm going to show you is an older bag in my collection it is my Gucci velvet Marmont wallet on chain and this is a great evening bag I really like it because you can fit a lot when you open this up it does stretch and it's kind of an accordion style so you have a lot of room to work with I also love that you have a lot of versatility with the strap so you can remove the strap but you can wear it crossbody or you can kind of double it up in here and shorten it a bit which is what I really like doing and I really do like the look of the Marmont with the velvet I think it is so classic looking. I know that the Marmont isn't super popular. They're, they are coming out with more styles. I feel like this is one of the styles that may kind of start to go away a little bit from Gucci, but I really like it. I think that it is beautiful, and I think that the Gigi just really stands out on the black. I wear this all the time to dinner or evening events, so I would look into getting more of this style bag because it does fit a lot, especially for an evening out. Next up, I have another bag from Mulberry this is the mini Darley bag and it is in like a cognac color with the gold hardware I love this bag because it reminds me of my Louis Vuitton Pochette Felici and it is like nowhere near the price point and so I love it because you just twist that open you open this up and it has a couple different compartments in here it has a zipper pocket some card slots in the back and it really fits a lot the quality of the leather is beautiful it's a super soft pebbled leather so it's not super rugged and I really love the chain strap it's a really good length and it is removable and this is primarily more of an evening bag for me as well because it is pretty small but I would also say that you could wear this as an everyday bag because you can kind of make it a little bit more casual based on your outfit another bag from Prada this is the Prada Vitello tote bag and this is a really great tote because it's not super large and the leather is really durable and beautiful the Vitello bags are some of the best quality I've ever seen from Prada I 
I do have a little scuff on the back, but I've been wearing this for years to work and it is definitely my go-to tote bag whenever I want something to carry on the shoulder, to put my laptop in, anything like that. I think that this is a really great bag. They don't make this anymore, so I'm not going to talk too much about it, but they do. I do see them on Fashion File and The Real Wheel and Poshmark. If you look up the Vitello collection, I believe this is actually the Phoenix bag, you will definitely find something like this or something similar. The pebbled leather is just really, really beautiful and I think it's really great quality. So much so that I think it will last me many years. So moving into my Louis Vuitton bags, they were all kind of on the same shelf so I'm gonna go into those. So the next bag is my Louis Vuitton Clapton bag. This is a great bag. They no longer make this anymore but it has feet on the bottom. It is in the Damier Ben print with the pink leather and it has a pink leather crossbody strap. I love this bag. I love the look of this bag. I love how much it fits. I love the fact that it has so much attention to detail. I love the Damier mixed with leather. I wish that they would do more of that. I think it's stunning because you get kind of a mix of both of their leather and their canvas and it's so durable. I love the fact that there's a back pocket back here. I put my phone in there and it's just gorgeous. I think that it is such a great bag. I wish that they would bring it back. I did find this on Tradesy, which is now Vest year collective but I have seen these on Poshmark and the real real so definitely look this up this is the Clapton bag highly recommend if you're looking for something as a casual everyday bag or to dress it up the strap is removable it's just such great value and I think it is an amazing bag the next bag I'm going to show you is the second bag I ever got from a luxury store and it is my Louis Vuitton Elma BB I went to New York City for my birthday and I picked this up back when it retailed for $1,200 and it has significantly gone up since then. I think it is a classic bag. I don't think it will ever go out of style. The shape is just so perfect. It fits so much. I love the crossbody strap. I do wish the crossbody strap was adjustable because it's a little long for me, but I think that this bag is definitely a staple. If you love Louis Vuitton, this is the bag you should start with. The next bag is my Louis Vuitton Pochette Accessoire and I just got this last year, I believe. It is in the Damier Azor print and I absolutely love this bag. It is so easy to throw over your shoulder and grab and go and it fits way more than you would think. I do have a full video on this and what fits and I just love it. I think it is super classic and easy to carry. I think that it is at least a little bit more affordable for a Louis Vuitton bag and it's very versatile because you can remove this strap, you can add a crossbody strap to it or you can wear it as a clutch. I love how many ways you can wear this bag and for that reason I would never sell it and I would consider getting it in another color. Next up is the oldest handbag in my collection. It is my Louis Vuitton Pochette Felici and I bought this when it was on the Louis Vuitton website for $900. Now it is significantly more and it is still in style and it still looks great and I absolutely love it. The fact of the matter is this bag comes with two inserts, okay? So you are getting three leather goods for the price of one, so I would still highly recommend this bag. This pouch and card holder fit perfectly in the bag that you can get all of your essentials in them both and get them in here, or you don't have to use either of them. You could sell them, make some money back, and you can fit a ton in here. You could definitely fit your phone in here, wallet, keys. I love it. I love this bag. I love the beautiful champagne gold strap that it comes with. I have talked about this bag immensely on my channel. Sometimes they are sold out on the website and they can be a little bit hard to come by, but since their latest price increase, I would say that they're really not because it's an astronomically high price for this little bag, but I do think it's worth it. I think it's an amazing bag. I love this bag. I have another Fendi baguette here to show you. This is the vintage version of the baguette and it is the regular size. It is in a gold pebbled leather and it is a bronze also like like flap leather here and on the strap it is bronze and gold so you can kind of reverse it which I think is great. This bag fits so much. I really love this as a going out bag just because the colorway is definitely difficult to match and it's more of like a dressy bag because this gold like really stands out. I love it. This is the Solaria leather and I think that it is amazing. I would highly recommend this leather to anyone. Next bag is my Saint Laurent or YSL Lulu bag in the size small. 
This is in the white creamy leather. I can't remember the exact name and silver hardware. It has the shoulder strap, which can also be worn across body. I primarily wear this as a shoulder bag and this fits so much. I don't wear this a ton because I feel like it is pretty dressy for my everyday style, but I do love it. I am so glad that I bought this. I did buy this from Neiman Marcus, I believe, because I had an issue a while back. I tried to buy this off Mercari and it ended up being fake. Long story short, really love this bag. I would recommend it if you are someone that loves YSL and feels that this is a bag that you would wear every day. I personally think it's one that I don't wear as much because it is so dressy with these chain straps. So if you don't think you're going to get a lot of use out of it, if chain straps aren't your thing, I don't know if I would recommend it to you. But I do think it's beautiful. I think the quality is great and I think it is really trendy and definitely going to stand the test of time. But the next bag is actually from Off-White. It is the only Off-White bag that I have in my collection and it is the Jitney bag in the size 1.4 and I am obsessed with this bag. I love the drip of the arrow and this is like a really beautiful creamy color. It's definitely a warm toned kind of white and I love that it has an adjustable crossbody strap. This is a Saffiano leather and I actually really like the quality. I don't get any color transfer on this bag. I've worn this with jeans a hundred times and it is really holding up very nicely. To open it up you twist this which I think is so fun and then when you open it up it is a red Saffiano leather. I keep the tags on this bag because I just think it's like part of the design. I think it looks so fun. But so I love this bag. I would love to get more from Off-White. I think that they're a really great brand and I think the quality has really impressed me and I actually appreciate their price point. I don't think it's astronomically high for what you're getting for a leather bag so I really love this and I think it is one of the most unique pieces in my collection. The next bag is one of my newer Saint Laurent bags and this is the Jamie bag in the like linen canvas. It is really really beautiful and I love the gold chain that comes with this. It is such a chunky gold chain chain. It is like the most beautiful chain I think I've ever seen on a bag personally because it's like flat and it almost looks like a chunky necklace that you would wear. I really like this and I think it's really unique how you open it so you drop the L a little bit and this pops open and it is like that linen in here but then on the inside you have a black leather. It's definitely very stiff and structured and can be a little bit difficult to get in and out of like it's not like an easy grab and go bag but I do think that this matches just a lot. I did buy this pre-loved so it does have a little bit of a mark on the front but since I've been wearing it I haven't had any color transfer. I haven't gotten it dirty at all. It's definitely a different bag that I don't see a lot of people talk about or wearing from Saint Laurent so if you want me to do an updated review on this definitely leave that in the comments down below. Next up is one of my favorite vintage bags that I think I've ever bought. I hunted for this bag for many years. It is the Louis Vuitton mini looping bag and I saw this on a bunch of celebrities and I actually wanted it in the MM size. This is the PM size. This is the smallest size that they have and it is so cute and easy to wear and honestly it fits so much for like considered a mini bag. It is the perfect size shoulder bag in my opinion. You can fit a ton in here and for being vintage the quality is really really great and it has a zipper pocket in the back and the interior was super clean when I got it. We are down to the final four bags that I'm going to show you today. So the next bag is another vintage bag. This is the Chanel chocolate bar in the patent leather with the silver hardware. I love this bag. It is so unique. It was difficult to find as well at the price point that I got it for. I did buy this from The Real Real and I love that it's a really nice kind of long shoulder bag. It looks really nice as an evening bag. I also like wearing it as a clutch. You cannot remove the strap just so you know but you can tuck the strap into the bag and this fits quite a lot for such a small bag. It looks small but it actually fits a ton. I would say that this is more of a small bag than a mini bag. Truthfully, you can get your phone in here, your wallet, your keys, lip glosses. Genuinely, I always have extra space in here when I wear this bag. So I also love that it's patent leather and I don't have to worry about it getting super dirty. I get a ton of compliments on this bag and I really think it will stand the test of time. I think that this is a vintage bag that is still highly sought after and really a great purchase. Next up is my Versace mini camera bag and it is in the circle shape which I absolutely love. That is what drew me to this bag. And this was my first bag from Versace with this 
beautiful gold medusa head i absolutely love it i've talked about this bag a ton on my channel because it is one of the first black and gold bags that i ever got and black and gold is a staple in my collection if you can't tell it matches literally everything that i could possibly wear and i love the fact that it has an adjustable crossbody strap it's super comfortable super lightweight this is one of my favorites i always find myself grabbing this bag when i don't know which bag to grab this is always my go-to because it just matches everything it's easy to carry and it fits so much next up this is my all-time favorite bag in my collection ever this is my fendi baguette and it is in the newer style this was made in 2016 it is in the embossed lambskin and it, i just absolutely love it. it is super soft super squishy it has this great top handle feature with this thick guitar strap it's so comfortable to wear it's so lightweight it matches everything it fits so much i could go on and on and on about this bag this is such an amazing bag. I bought this pre-loved and you can't even tell. Honestly, it has no scratches, nothing on it, and it is such a soft leather that you would be worried about it getting scratched, but it really holds up beautifully. It always levels up my outfits. I know that when I wear this bag, it's going to be a good outfit day, and I just love carrying it. I love the way that it looks. This is the number one bag that I would pick out of all of these bags. The very last bag that I'm going to show you is another favorite of mine that I've talked about so much. It is the Saint Laurent Sac de Jour in the size baby in the mock croc black leather with silver hardware. I love this. It also has a lock feature which wasn't in front so I'll show you that and then it also has an adjustable crossbody strap that is removable and then on the inside it does have a pouch in here and the pouch is actually removable. This bag is always open and it's definitely convenient to get in and out of it's not super secure just to keep that in mind but I also love that it has feet on the bottom this bag I've used for work it is a very classic elegant looking bag that will definitely stand the test of time I think it is so versatile for work for going to the grocery store for going out to dinner I wear it in so many different ways and I absolutely love it I would recommend it to anybody looking for an elegant bag that doesn't scream designer but again it's kind of that understated luxury which is really on the rise especially now in 2023 when I'm recording this so that is going to conclude this video that is all of my luxury handbags and I am going to be doing a part two to this with my contemporary handbags this was so much more than I anticipated it was going to be. There are so many bags here, so if you're still here with me and you're still watching this, thank you so much. I cannot thank you enough. I appreciate you being here and watching this. I know I am so entertained by watching handbag reviews and handbag hauls of everybody's huge collection. So I am so grateful to have this collection. I'm so grateful to have this platform and I just so appreciate you being here and I cannot say it enough. So this has been a long one. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a like and leave a comment down below. I would love to hear from you and ask any questions about these bags. I'd be happy to answer those for you. Thank you so much again for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.